Mariana Greenblatt's role in Ahsoka is even better after Dave Filoni explained why she was perfectly cast. So what about live-action Clone Wars? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, please subscribe and keep watching for more details. Ariana Greenblatt's portrayal of a younger Ahsoka Tano in the Clone Wars era flashbacks was a perfect match, capturing the character's charisma and embodying her moral compass. Filoni, the showrunner and creator of Ahsoka, was thrilled to see Greenblatt bring the character to life on set as she looked and acted like the Ahsoka he had envisioned. The success of Ahsoka's appearance in live action and the demand for more Clone Wars stories in this format suggests that a live action adaptation could introduce a new audience to the complex and captivating world of the Clone Wars. Dave Filoni recently confirmed why Ariana Greenblatt was the perfect choice for live action Clone Wars era Ahsoka Tano and it makes the prospect of a live-action version of Star Wars, the Clone Wars, even more exciting. Though Ahsoka Tano was originally introduced in animation in the Star Wars, the Clone Wars movie, her character has come a long way since. Portrayed as an adult by Rosario Dawson in live-action, Ahsoka continues to leave her mark on the Star Wars franchise as a compelling and complex character a beacon of hope and light in a galaxy constantly moored by darkness. Three actresses have now portrayed Anakin Skywalker's Jedi Padawan. Ashley Eckstein voiced the character in all her animated appearances, Rosario Dawson debuted in The Mandalorian, and now Ariana Greenblatt has portrayed a younger version of the character in two Clone Wars era flashbacks in Ahsoka Episode 5. The flashbacks were essential for Ahsoka's character development as they allowed her to finally make peace with her past and let go of her guilt and grief over Anakin's fate. But while much of the Clone Wars has been depicted in animation, there are still plenty of other stories and battles left to explore, and Ariana Greenblatt may be the key to making that happen in live action. During an interview with Entertainment Weekly's Dagobah Dispatch podcast, Ahsoka showrunner and Lucasfilm chief creative officer Dave Filoni revealed why Greenblatt was such a great choice to play the character. He described seeing her on set in full costume for the first time as a thunderbolt moment because she was the spitting image of the very first character he'd made for Star Wars and Lucasfilm. As one of her two original creators, Star Wars creator George Lucas being the other, it's understandable that seeing Ahsoka in real life, as she was originally imagined, must have been a thrilling and full-circle moment for Filoni. But that's not all. Greenblatt didn't just look like Ahsoka, she acted like her too. Filoni told Dagobah Dispatch about a behind-the-scenes moment in which Greenblatt embodied Ahsoka's character while the cameras weren't even rolling. Filoni said, There was this awesome moment where Ariana was sitting there on the ground, kinda kneeling, and she was telling. I don't know what she was talking about, but she was telling this story to a bunch of guys dressed as clones, and it was the most one-to-one -one real thing I'd ever seen. I just sat there and stared at it, and it was so. She wasn't acting, she wasn't being Ahsoka, but she was being so Ahsoka. I was like, wow, it's exactly what it was. This young girl captivated all these soldiers. Cause she's got that charisma. She was that thing. That was kind of really jaw-dropping for me. Those were very fun days. Those were the days where people would just filter onto the set that normally aren't there because they just wanted to stand there and watch it. We had planned that whole sequence to a T. What can be more captivating than an actress who embodies a role so perfectly that even her creator has a hard time distinguishing fact from fiction? It was easy to see that Greenblatt was perfect in the role. She allowed Ahsoka's righteousness, empathy, and moral compass to shine through, all the while capturing that same playful banter and sibling dynamic with Hayden Christensen's Anakin Skywalker. 
Seeing Clone Wars era Ahsoka come to life in such a manner was both heartbreaking and heartwarming at the same time. If ever there was a time to adapt a Clone Wars story in live action, it would be now. Star Wars. The Clone Wars is a vast series. There are seven seasons in total, which chronicle the beginning, middle, and inevitable end of the Republic versus Separatist conflict, all of which was orchestrated by Darth Sidious. The show doesn't just cover the battles, but also the personal toll it took on the Jedi themselves, who were suddenly thrust into a war when they were only ever supposed to be peacekeepers. 